Shalom to everyone who's watching and listening to me right about now. I have a very powerful word of direction for someone right about now. Remember that every single day I release these amazing words. They are just for you. Some of you, these are words of confirmation of what is happening in your lives. My brothers and sisters, today's word is they are coming back with a bad report about you. So be strong in the Lord and do not pay attention to their negative report. Because the moment you give attention to their negative report, that is when fear is going to come into your life. And we know that fear is a very dangerous thing. Fear is not of the Lord. Fear is for the enemy. That's why the scripture says that for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. My brothers and sisters, they are people that have arranged documents. They have prepared themselves. They have been preparing for this day. They have been preparing for a time such as this just to present with you a negative report, a bad report. Some of them come as doctors. I'm not saying what a doctor says is, is not right. In most cases, he's saying the right thing. But that report is negative. How do you deal with a negative report? Yes, you don't deny the fact that you have that problem or that disease. What you do is you speak to that disease. You speak to that problem. That's, that's why Scripture says, you shall speak to the mountain, be thou moved and cast into the sea, and the mountain shall be moved. So my brothers and sisters, whatever negative report that is presented to you, what do you have to do? You have to seek God. What does God have to say about you? Because if God says you are blessed, no one can say you are cursed. If God says that you are rich, no one can say you are poor. That is why the scripture says, let the poor say, I am rich. It knows that you, you are poor right now. But now the scripture says, let the poor say, I am rich. Let the weak say, I am strong. When you feel weak, just say you are strong. Scripture says, you shall declare and decree a thing and it shall be established. Whatever you declare and decree, it shall be established. If you believe in Jesus, if you believe in the word. I want to read to you a scripture. That is from the book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30 to 33. Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30 to 33. And it reads, Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants. And all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. There we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak, came from the giants, and we were like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. What a powerful word. There is a lot to learn from this scripture. A lot, especially things that are happening in your life. Now, the scripture says that Caleb quietened the people. He, that means he silenced them. Remember, the scripture comes at the point where Moses sent out spies to spy the land. The land that they were go going to take possession. Now, when the spies came back, they came back with a bad report. Now, the scripture says Caleb quietened the people before Moses and says, and said, let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, 
we are not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we remember these people had gone with Caleb but they came up with a negative report but for Caleb he came up with a positive report while Caleb said something that is positive something that is encouraging these men were negative they were always pretty full in a sorry state saying that the, the land that you are going to possess the people are stronger than we they went ahead and said that the land devours its inhabitants what kind of land is that that devours its inhabitants not only that to add salt into injuries they say that there we saw the giants the descendants of anak that came from the giants and we were like grasshoppers in our own sight and so we were in their sight they had a grasshopper mentality remember they first saw themselves as grasshoppers before the giants saw them as grasshoppers scripture says we were like grasshoppers in our own sight and so we were in their sight brothers and sisters what is it that you're seeing about yourself some of you have despised yourself what you believe about yourself is what your enemy will believe about you if you believe that you're weakling your enemy will believe that you're weakling and that will become reality if you believe that you are stronger of course your enemy is going to believe you're stronger and that will become reality so what is it that you believe about yourself my brothers and sisters there are people that have come up in your lives with a negative report that is why you see i encourage you never to pay attention to gossip pages never to pay attention to haters yes haters are going to come narcissists are going to come but how do you respond to them you respond to them with the word of god when jesus was led into temptations in the, in the, in the wilderness the enemy came to him and started speaking of sorts of funny words how did jesus respond he responded with the word of god my brothers and sisters this is the word i have for you i hope it has encouraged you i hope it has blessed you and i hope it has uplifted you until next time shalom <laughs>